minus 100. Roger, Atlas Control. This is 1134. Check for green. 1134. All systems green. Arc launch protocol initiated. Cryogenic preparation commencing. Initiate nanotrite injection. Check. Cryogenic life support systems online. Subterranean launch injectors ready. 97% nominal. Let me know how the uh, audio is coming through. Anybody's watching. External disturbance detected. Cryogenic chambers compromised. Chamber Omega 5 online. Initiating emergency nanotrite activation. 3, 2, 1. Nanotrite sequencer online. Release cryogenic chamber seals. Internal arc data nominal. Rebooting internal data systems. All nanotrite bio augmentation systems fully deployed. Nanotrites active. Current position unknown. Remote location beacon offline. Running full diagnostic tests. Arc external pressure seals fully released. Safe egress is now confirmed. Outer door lock disengaged. Initiate pre recorded media playback. This is President Davis. You, the Arc volunteers, are mankind's last hope. Our survival. Our very existence rests in your hands. No one will know what you will find when you awake. But remember, you and the contents of these arcs will form the final barrier to the extinction of mankind. Our prayers go with you. And Godspeed. And playback. safe here. Get in. I know you got questions, but we gotta get moving. Got bandits all over these hills. We best get going. I'm Dan Hager, and you are one lucky son of a bitch. You know, ARC survivors are worth a lot of money to whoever hands them over to the authorities. 
You don't even know the authority yet. Well, I guess you don't know anything about any of this. <laughs> Welcome to the future. Why wouldn't you have a jump scare immediately? That's the way to do it. Grab your attention fast. Hold on. The biggest Got problem bandits. about this game is that they made it seem like it was a huge, like this open world just stretched on forever. Damn shame you're still wearing that arc suit. Done. It's a dead giveaway. Keep her going. Come and kill you guys. Pretty much their world out here. Probably looking for their buddies. Damn, now we both got a problem. You gonna kill him or what? We need to get to my place. Once they see what I've done, they'll be coming for blood. And for you. I've got a plan that might get us both out of this mess. Hell, he's got his own territory. You know, it's just this gas station. Ah, here we are. Home sweet home. Hey there. Talk. Get out of the buggy. Come on, this way. Pretty sure one of the upgrades that I have in this version, or it was like a day one version, gave you reinforced, essentially brass knuckles, with spikes on your fists. You know, I put a lot at risk to save you. Not just my life, but the lives of everyone here. I survived this long by staying out of trouble. Saving you may have changed all that. So here's what I need okay. you to do. Head to where those bandits live and wipe them out, plain and simple. No one eat. walks out alive, except you. Eat, eat, eat. You can use one of my ATVs in the garage, and that pistol, and the supplies on the table. Oh, and you oh, won't just get my pals. thanks. Come back alive and I'll dig up some armor that'll fit over that arc suit you're wearing. We got a deal? One more thing. Those bandits shouldn't be too hard to take down. Not for you. I hear there's something special about you arc people. Yeah, look at them. Just gonna punch people in the face. Right, clean off. Yeah. At least I don't have any sort of weird, like, cryo sickness where I just throw up for an hour. Just get right to shooting people. That's a crossbow, you get it later. It is far. This thing. Essentially, you look like the Doom guy.
You kill him. up hands attached to the ends of arms would have never known so already have a shotgun oh sweet Doll hairs. Worth killed men for less. It's on stakes. It's on stakes. What Hagar said to us. How dare you think you can walk into our house? Take him to the kill room. Kill room sounds lovely. Mine's next to my dining room. Ah, you're awake. Good. I like my prey to know what's coming. I promise this will hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're an arc survivor, you got these uh, nano traits in your body. And you got a nice little mini game. Uh, let me 
turn down the volume then. I don't know if that's any better. Y'all can let me know. Uh, I'd appreciate it. And if you're joining me, I'm just playing through the original Rage. It's the Xbox 360 title that originally came on, uh, I want to say, four discs. It was kind of ridiculous. It install all of them and then swap between them when you went to different areas. Um, but it doesn't look too bad. Uh, it's enhanced on the X. So the textures and everything are a little bit nicer. That'd be me. Stealing your, your stuff. What do you see? What do you see? There's grenades in there. Also, I am playing on straight up easiest difficulty, no shame, because I just want to kind of go through the story, uh, reacquaint myself with it. This guy, still shooting at me. Wow, not the face! Always that janky little thing when you loot their corpses. Yeah, if you play it on the hardest difficulty, you can get them all in one fell swoop. Um, I have my full achievement set in this one, including they did a DLC that actually came out, I want to say almost two years after the game launched. So most people forgot that it was even still a thing, um, but the uh, the extra campaign ad was pretty cool. It added uh, that side campaign you could actually do it, like at any time. So if you were playing for the first time, it made sense to do the side campaign first. It gave you a new weapon, actually a couple of new weapons see the regular campaign, if I recall correctly. But I beat the game good ways um, earlier. Are you? I don't think you are. Um, but yeah, super fun game. It's straight up standard id um, Bethesda. So, along the same lines as Doom, Wolfenstein, Quake. Just a very solid first person shooter. Shot that guy in the butt, he's gonna hobble away. Maybe? <laughs> no. Like I said, it's got some light crafting elements. You can make uh, bandages, you can actually upgrade them later to give you better health increases, longer lasting effects, things of that nature. And on zip line, probably made it as fast. Come yep. here, you son of a bitch. You move too fast, guy. Uh, later on, you can also get some weapons with uh, multiple ammo types. So I have regular buckshot in this gun and the settler pistol. Um, just has regular standard rounds, but then you can upgrade them. Essentially giving you like magnum or shotgun rounds. Um, the shotgun in the game, every Bethesda and id game seems to have a shotgun. It's usually pretty pretty awesome. The one in this one you can load with explosive rounds called pop rockets, I think. Oh, I think I just threw that downstairs. Yep. Yeah, yeah. no, let's try this again. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, those boxes are in this place. Um, there is uh, deformation on the the character models. Like they'll get blown it into chunks if you hit them with a grenade. Um, and yeah, on that left there is where you can select between your different ammo types and you can kind of load them up at any time. You also have other quick use items like the wing stick super awesome. They come back in the second game, but now you can throw them around walls. Hard-headed. Um, the wing sticks get upgraded so they have higher durability. A lot of beer in this game. I mean, at least if the, the world explodes, people still got beer. Get over here. We need help. I see you. Yep, 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 yep. Incoming. <laughs> well, that was wrong. There we go. Oh, uh, it's just a explosive spray of blood. Says the guy who's hiding behind what an ottoman? Get out of here, dude. Uh, there's also a little bit of backtracking in the game. You get some some items like the uh, it's like a lockpick. It's not really a lockpick per se. It just breaks the lock straight off the door, like grinds it out. I feel like it might even be called grinders. Um, but like right at the beginning of this level there's a door that I couldn't access because of those. I think I can get one at the end here. So I can go back in. That card game I mentioned has a bunch that you have to go back and find. I know there's a door. This, yeah, not worth going back to get. But I forgot the beer. Yeah, the most annoying part of this game, essentially when you played it on the 360, is like I said, the world wasn't super huge, so traveling from one area to another sometimes meant putting in a different disc, and then if you miss something in the previous area, you gotta put that other disc back in. Super annoying. But like I said, fun game, and if you have it uh, downloaded digitally, you don't have to worry about that. I also believe the load times in the old one, um, at least on the 360, were pretty, pretty decent. I don't really notice it much in this version. There were some overworld or um, racing events you could take part in. They're kind of just like eh, things to do if you weren't didn't want to shoot people. Collecting items like those little floating, not orbs, but uh, satellite things. They give you some upgrades. Yeah, I think I get wing sticks here in a second. Wow. Alright, but Oh yeah. So you all like the bottles and bottles and cans, you know, and just clap Good your hands, work. you can sell it to these people here. We're all a little safer because of that. You got our thanks. Sure that's, that's true. Armor, I promise. Don't really know me. But as you I have see, lots of we got other trouble. armor and pistol and a shotgun. Listen. The settlement was attacked while you were gone. Bunch of bandits I've never seen. <laughs> just said we were safer. They didn't take anything, they just came for the kill. We have yeah, some good that people here. And we're running low on medical supplies. I'm gonna need your help again. 
Okie dokie. Just, Just me more ki more killing. The way, you'll find another settlement. They tend to stick to themselves, but they're friends. And they have what we need. Just give this letter to Richter. He'll know what to do. What or what? I didn't again, catch the question. I'll make sure our mechanic in town sets you up with your own buggy. Thank you. And the buggy gets go, upgrades sure as well. Um, like I said, there's races later on. Please, hurry Becky! Back with those with the no hair. Again. We will oh, I guess she's got some. Them. Thank you. I'm not sure if that guy's like sleeping or he's like wounded. He looks fine. I say it's some bad mutant meat or something. Pew pew pew. See this one. This is literally the the side quest that was the added DLC. I could do that right now. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty fun, but it's uh, it takes place after the main line really since it came out two years after the game launched uh, this person I believe will give me some wing Let sticks you want to know how to throw a wing stick a friend I see Dan well, tell me gave you a pistol not a bad weapon but if you want some subtle killing power you'll need to use a wing stick they've got a nano corp or smart targeting but it'll still take a little practice to master I'll make a deal with you you prove you can hit something with them, and I'll tell how it gets safe to sell you some. Ready to give it a toss? Oh, Good yeah. hunting. All right, here are the rules. Watch for the pop-up targets and hit them as quickly as you can. See how many you can get before the timer runs out. Okay. Or well, it can be terrible. I've already hit so many of these targets. Nice job. If I were a target drone, I'd be nervous. Talk to Halleck and he Give can wing sticks. Oh sweet. Wait, fists. Yes, that's a thing. How many sticks it is? Oh, this guy's gonna sell my crap to him. Welcome, stranger. Name's Halleck. Kind of looks like a hobbit. It's a pleasure meeting you. I run this little shop. Got enough supplies here to keep you alive and fighting. Best stuff in the wasteland. Oh, and uh, if you find something of Stop value talking. and you don't need it. Bring it Stop here. I pay nicely for quality goods. <laughs> Care to uh, browse my selections? I just want to buy stuff. Too. I might so have I something have. you need. Monocular, uh, yes. See you again soon. Thanks, bro. Yeah, they're like, oh, the other settlement really beat us up. But then you find out that the other settlement's like, wait, who else I gotta talk to? Unless it's trying to tell me to do the torture, torture thing. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. There's actually an achievement for flinging yourself off this thing. There's like a little goal post. You gotta flick yourself through. You can also.
so run around and deliver mail to people. Got a lot of work to do here, pal. If you need something, come by later. Maybe I can help. This guy doesn't even care. I could have been a bandit. Sneaking with a punch in the back of the head with my spiky fist, but I guess that's Looking for not a thing today. He's up there. How do you even know? Hello, Ramos. Need something gray. stranger? Hmm. Yeah. Dan's run into some trouble again, I see. Well, Janice is going to need to see this list. Go on. She's just up there. You're the note. But when you're done, come back here. See, so this guy's like, what, you. 30 yards away? Thanks, bro. Couldn't hand it to this lady. You must be one of Dan's new. Oh, uh, you must be delivering you. lists from 30 yards away. Hmm. Some of these things I'll need to track down, but you know the way it works here. We help you, you help us, right? A member of our group, Juno, Sweet glasses went missing she's got. a few days back, and I'm getting real worried about him. So while I gather your supplies, how about you go look for him? If you find any trace sure. of him, I'll reward you with my own Where's Juno? Bandages. Good luck, and I pray that he's safe. I pray that you guys are a little less trusting to random newcomers who have wing sticks. Couldn't help but notice, pistols. stranger, that gun you're carrying isn't much of anything. Good sense yeah, right? with some real fire. What, what, what did you do? Help us out here and I'll give you a real weapon. Our radio tower up on the hill stopped working. I like need how. someone to fix it. Yeah, I'm probably Couldn't just out of alignment. Me. You get it fixed for me. I'll give you a shotgun. It's good luck. Double be mission job. time. Once again, this mission is like right around the corner. You can see it pretty much from here. But nobody wants to leave. Also, in the future, everyone's legs are broken. Wow! Pow! Punch her in the back of the head. Like, it's so close. I'm not even gonna get on this thing. Right over here. Right over here. I would have to get off because I can't drive past these little yellow poles. Ridiculous. Wasted territory. Everything's like, like I said, these territories are all smashed right next to each other. It's not like a very big map. The new game, not so much. Very open world. Drive around. Steal stuff. Blow stuff up. Shoot stuff. How's things over there? More. Who are you? Who's who's talking to me? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, uh, these are these are bad guys. I should I should shoot them. Oh, ho, ho. see, strong hands. Okay. You could die. Thanks, bro. All right, but you can't steal his gun. Not yet. Serious problem. I give you a lot of these rounds, though. But that little monocle I bought? Usually monocles are stupid in games. They don't do anything for you. Not in this one. Pretty much turns your pistol into a sniper rifle. Just because you're... Because, you know, that's how that works. If you look through a monocle, you can shoot people real far away. And your accuracy is super fucking good. This guy. Pow! He's fine. He's fine. Get back up. Pow! Come on, bro. No, sorry. Not very. Not clean kill, but whatever. I feel like the soundtrack could have been a whole lot better. Should have been like a bunch of, you know metal grunge shit playing all the time. This is just a poop bucket. Just a poop bucket. I think I come back here later. I'll just make my own music. Oh, I can see it's so close! With a helmet. I mean, that, that makes sense that you're stronger with a helmet on. So I'm like wounded. 
but you heal up anyway, so unless you're taking a bunch of damage all at one point, you don't really need your bandages. Just save them. Later on in the game they do actually come. Pretty useful. I'm not sure if I should just do the regular Twitch thing. If you guys like this channel, smash that like and subscribe button. Keep me adding uh, delicious content every day on the hour. Uh, that's a complete lie. I don't make content pretty much ever. Uh, and if I do, it's because I'm just really excited for the new Rage game. So that's why I'm playing this one. Oh, where's Juno? You know where Juno is? Juno is right there. Ah! Mutants. Fucking mutants. Worst thing about mutants, you don't even give it anything. You kill them, they like disappear. I don't want to touch them. Gross. Um, they don't give you anything, yeah. They're just worthless. They're just, they pop out, they scare the shit out of you. I know that hole is around here somewhere. I'll go over to the top of the radio tower. Gonna reposition this uh, here satellite thing. Thing in my jig. From a bobber. Ugh, these noises are gross though. I definitely have something in my shoes. At least by that noise. Alright, and the zip line. Get me off these squishy shoes. So that's all Richter wanted. And Juno has been found as well. Just found brutally murdered, that's all. No biggie. Oh, hey, where's my sweet dune buggy? It's right here. You made it back. Hey guys, your we'll friend's dead. You. Cool. Yeah, I'll talk to him since you don't want to turn around and walk up the stairs. Hey you, I'm looking for some work. Oh, the gloves? Uh, I got the gloves because there was a, a special pre-order yeah, bonus to the bad, game stranger. called the Anarchy this. Edition. We usually don't get them this far. They gave you those gloves. You did good Punching though. people in the face. Although, immediately get a pistol, which is slightly found. better. And then you get this big-ass shotgun. Yep. I mean, I feel like... You can pretty much use the pistol for a good chunk of the game. The shotgun is nice, the combat one fires faster. Oh, how's Juno? Oh, I see? You should probably wrong, see it in my face, I didn't have to say anything. Show up. This world takes so many good people. But thank you for looking, and here is what you need, as well as the plans to make your own healing bandages. Just look for the things listed and put them together. They will help you whenever you are hurt. Thank you again, and good luck. Engineering recipe. This is how you make your bandages. Um, and you can do it while the game is paused, just nice. Some advice before. Hey, uh, how about you walk around the corner and I'll give you a triple barrel shotgun? Like, oh yeah, dope guy. Can you talk to that person around the corner? I don't like to look at people. Save strange. Alright, this time I'm, I'm taking my. I feel lazy. Hiya! Oh, wait. I think it was somewhere else. Maybe? Yes. To a different area, I think. Perhaps. I think maybe I go back to Hagar. Yeah. 
Buck. Oh damn! Juno be dead. That ain't no good. Or no fun. Yeah, I can see you. Good work. I'm starting to think I made a good decision by saving you. You truly are someone we can trust, and I am in your debt. Now go talk with DR about that buggy. Look for him in the garage. Hoping that, um, the, with Rage 2 on Xbox One, uh, when it releases that, that buggy fixed up and come back and they will give you a copy of this game do. for free since it's backwards compatible and I think it's part of gold, like you were hey, saying. Come over here. Oh, you look creepy. I've got one word for you to remember. Feltrite. Feltrite. You know Feltrite is? No, probably not. Well, let me tell you. You hear this guy's voice? Feltrite was inside Familiar? that asteroid that darn near wiped out the whole planet. But what it left behind. The voice of Spike. Feltrite. Ore from outer space. Powerful stuff. You get your hands on it, you keep it. Only trade it for something really good. Thanks, Spike. His name's Steven Blum. Hey, buddy. Dan said you were taking that old buggy off my hands. Truth is, I mean, yeah. not a bad vehicle, but see, it needs work and parts. The work I can do. It but needs the parts, missiles. You're gonna need to get. Johan, back at the Outrigger settlement, should be able to help. Sound good? Johan. Okay. See you back here when you get. Johannes to Brahms. Where's my buggy? Oh! Smash! Breaking the law! Breaking the law! Zap zoop! There are also co-op missions in this game. They're pretty fun, actually. Welcome. One of the harder difficulties was a pretty decent challenge. Hey there, guy. So, do you want to talk to me? For that old buggy. Hmm. Man, he should just junk it. Now, I'd like to give the parts to you, but I'm afraid I have a small problem. I'm afraid bandits raided my garage not too long ago and ran off with most of my spare parts. You're gonna need to go down to their hideout near the old dam and find what you need. Think you can handle this? Could get a bit hot in there. Little hot. Easy, uh, hot, you mean? I'm gonna murder everyone? Then Here, yeah. Make some fat boys for your pistol. That ammo kicks yeah. Through. See, new ammo type. In case you run into any locked doors, take these plans to build a lock um, grinder. They do exactly as their name says. Good luck. Lock so grinders. Regular pistol rounds. Fat boys essentially like magnums. Bandits and mutants moving in closer. Stay sharp in those ruins out there. Yeah, daddy o. Stereotypical black guy. All right. Ow. Sorry. Sorry, this shitty connection. Running, running, running. is probably gone. See, let's see if the fat boys actually do. More damage. Pow! Oh, I mean, I would say. Uh, oh. I don't want to save him now. Oh, I forgot that's how you melee. You know. Over there! 
Damn it, I'm still using fucking <laughs> the dick. Weak spot. Where are those guys at? Down there. There we go. There we go. All the dead people. I do like a video game where the only way I know which direction I'm supposed to go is away from all the dead bodies I've killed. That's like the mark of a good game. Yeah, locals only. Mutants everywhere. And thank goodness. In this game, there's no like underwater levels. It's just murdering people, murdering people on foot. There he is. There he is. Boy, I'm a lot of talk. Shot in the face with a shotgun. Buggy parts. Buggy parts. Buggy parts. Not like glitchy. Like off road dude buggy. So, yeah, these things are your crafting elements. The hardware packet, I think a wiring kit. And those together make these the lock grinders. I need another electrical kit. In real life. Do you see what they're working on downstairs? Oh, fuck yeah! yeah. Big plastic bag! Get him! Oh, I've got a spell of you! Nice face! Pull back! Damn. I'm heading back! Should have thought about that before you attacked me. Because now you're not gonna get away. Oh wow, I wish my aim wasn't so terrible. Sorry people. Here's... I don't really care that you're shooting at the guy. Yeah, see? Some of the people are just like, nope. I saw him murder all those other people. That guy's stuck in the wall. Rick got a grenade. Ron killed a man. Yeah, he should probably lay low for a little while. Pew. The yeah, more dead bodies. Everybody, get shot. You in front of me. I'll come right after. Pow! Yes, the whip. You still alive? Thank you. A mighty pirouette. Everybody, everybody, give me all your stuff forcibly. Good, good, good. Show me on the dead body where he looted you. So, this door is electrified. Run into this engine, which apparently just runs forever. Stupid. 
Yo, that art alternator though. Really like what you've done with the place. not to get shot too much. Shaman too late, mate. Okay, oh. oh. Thanks, guy. He ain't got a shot in the butt. Yeah, you are. Like a pussy. Uh, this barrel allows you to go into like a doom level. It's like a hidden thing in the game. There's a bunch of barrels. Wing sticks. Usually the the loot is a little bit better whenever you pop open one of the locks. Not so great on that one. Just hanging out. He's going run. Get back up. Oh yeah, guy's dead. He's totally getting back up. Come on. Come on. See my accuracy? I have a monocle. What more do you need? This guy. Not Johnny, no. Barrels everywhere. See all the other barrels like look decent. I want at the top of the stairs. Not so much. What? 
You should take your own advice. Food cans? Canned blueberries, yes! My favorite. Try to keep each of these playthroughs uh, divided up to maybe like an hour and a half. And just about an hour right now. Um, just so they're not crazy long files. Ain't nobody want to watch me play this game that long anyway. Excuse me. Lay up there! Chomp chomp! Yeah, chomp chomp. I thought for sure there was like a little bit of dismemberment in this game. I could be wrong. Yeah, I feel like I'm wrong. Unless it's from different weapons later on. I'll try... The upgrade stuffs. Fortunate souls. Obviously the textures aren't anything to write home about now. Like I said, this game's pretty old. It was a 360 title. It was on DVDs. Not Blu-rays. Not PS3. Battle over here. Another item I think I need. I'm not sure where it is.
shit. We'll have his L strong. That guy had a machine gun, bro. What do you got? Nothing. Ow. Right in the dick. What does that do? I feel like... It might have done something to help me beat him, but... Who needs to do that? Just do it the old-fashioned way. My buggy will run. Over there. On this. Yeah. yeah. Bloody hell, I'm fucked up. Thank you. The wing sticks do come back to you. You can use them later, um, but they do break after a certain period of time. You can upgrade them. You get ones that you can throw and use multiple times. More fill try all the good stuff. Who made it this one? So you go, you just walk back out. Into the wasteland. He would have if his head was still attached to his body, bro. Yes. Totally gnarly, but I get this one, or it might be the same one. I don't know. It's whatever. It's got horns on it now. It's the ice on it. It's the icy one. So metal, literally and figuratively. You ever hear any strange noises? Coming from your voice actor? Yes, all the time. Those parts should do the trick. Okay, the buggy will be ready. And it's soon, fixed. But there are a couple things you have to know before you take that thing out for a ride. Remember. The Wasteland is a dangerous place. Give me a call if you ever smash your vehicle up and can't drive it. I'll give you a lift back here. And also, if you need any repairs, just drive back to the garage and I'll fix her up. Okay, let me get these parts installed and you'll be all set. Go ahead and grab that radio on the counter there. Take it out for a spin, but remember, call me if you need a tow. Will do. Don't care. Moving on. No. Not yet. I got stuff to do. 
sell my garbage to this I guy. I buy and sell everything that you need in these. I parts. know you do. What you're looking for? already have one now but you feel put like some guns on it and you'll be able to go up against just about anything now you ready for some more work you keep calling it work some bandits but I actually have taken much control of the it. checkpoint at the canyon entrance trying to cut us off from the big town to the east and we can't let that happen I need okay. you to use your special talents for a demolition job you think you can do this for me? A big town to the I'll east. I'll use my trusty sniper rifle for the job. Excellent. Here are some explosive charges. Just place them on the gate and run. Good luck. Dope, 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 dope. Maximum zoomage. Also, pretty sure that's not a thing. Yeah, yeah. Ow! Oh. oh shit. Ow! Dude, my car was like, whatever. How many Christmas? Dude, is that thing like honed in on me? Whatever. Yeah, I don't know what you got, guy, but it's nothing good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Expensive. 
I do like the fact that everything that's in your inventory to sell is I'm like, oh, this might be good for something. No, it's like, ah, it's junk. I need it. Shit. Not blow me up this time. Don't tell me everyone will respawn, though. Pretty bloody buddy. Dude. Well, guess you even die on easy. Anybody else want to shoot stuff at me? Jerks. Absolute jerks. Once again, Dan is so far away, he couldn't hear that explosion. Hey, you're here. Hey, Parker. You're looking good out there. Here to test your skills on a course? Come back and see me if you dare. Ow. Ow. You being here has made this area a lot safer for me and my family. We are in your debt. Let's give me some stuff. So now that we can travel safely, it looks like our time together may be coming to an end. I'd like to keep you here. A guy like you is valuable in a place like this. But you're just going to attract too much attention, and that'll bring in the authority. But there is one more thing I need you to do. Mayor Clayton runs the town of Wellspring to the east, and I've got to get a message to him. And you, you're the only one that can do it. Our supplies are getting low, and the mayor's promised help. We need to get restocked before the bandits cut us off again. Can you make the trip? I knew Once again, I could like, on you. oh, this is super Remember, far away. Got any guns on that a long body. trek to Wellspring. I wonder how long it'll take me. Weeks. Months. Better get to it. Stock up food and snacks. Do the Austin Powers. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm terrible. Up, uh, Austin Powers. Just, just. Oh my gosh. There we go. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. 
again, he'd be like, well, please get me super far away. Yeah. I'm super well aware. Ram into people. Even the little one had more acceleration. Ow! Ram those things up. Oh wait, we're at Wellspring. Sure do, Solomon. Wait a sec. I'll tell him you're here. Don't you move. Hello, sir. Got a man here to see you. Looks like Dan sent him. Interesting. Send him to me right away. The mayor can see you now, but hold on. We got a few rules here in Wellspring. You see, people don't exactly take the strangers here. Just you keep your head down and mouth shut, and you'll do just fine. Folks here are mighty suspicious. They aren't gonna just trust you, at first. My advice? Best keep to yourself. Okay? To get to the mayor's yes, office, just cross the courtyard once you're in town. Can't miss it. Stanley Express. If you're looking for Mayor Clayton, he's right over there. You can f play a uh, five finger fillet as well. It's in here. Oh, no. You? No? No? First. You're new here, stranger, huh? <laughs> yeah, you do look pretty strange. Thanks. Thought you were gonna offer me a job. It's happened. <laughs> I'm gonna steal your books, Mayor. Welcome to Wellspring, stranger. Best little town this side of what passes what? for civilization and a few good safe miles from any authority outposts. Nicest people you'll ever find live right here. Friendly folk. Not your wasteland bandit scum. Good honest people. Well, enough with all that. So I hear you have a message from our friend Dan. Let's have it then. Having some trouble with bandits in the settlement again. Dangerous life out there. Deadly even. Well, I can get all this stuff he needs. Gonna take some time, though. Not sure how long. He must really respect you to give you this important job. So for now, I'll trust you too. You can stay here at Wellspring while I'll get his supplies, but not dressed like that. You'll bring the authority sniffing around, and I sure don't need that. So, you'll need to lose the arc suit for something a bit more modern. <laughs> Go see the vendor in town. Get some new clothes. I don't care what you do with that suit, as long as no one sees you in it again. You blend in. Understand? Good. Glad we understand each other. When you come back, we can have another little chat. I'm not sure who these people are, but I can almost guarantee they're all... ...id employees. An interesting outfit. I like to eat my way out of a urinal. Shut up! Okay. Didn't the authorities say it had stabilized the cost of water? So, Some you're the stranger technology. I've heard about. Nice I am. to meet you. My name is Sally, and this is my place. If you're ever looking for work, come here first. There's always someone looking for something, even me. You get some guns on that thing you're driving, and I bet you'll be real useful. Does she even know? How does she know? 
This guy is the guy that plays that card game. He looks like he's straight out of Borderlands. Nope. What? Who's gonna sell me some Ooh, stuff there? Look at how you're dressed. Hey, I haven't seen anyone wearing an arc suit for a long time. Dangerous thing you're doing there. Be careful. Authority spots you and you'll be hauled away in a flash. That's fine. You're getting my clothes Best changed. As you can around here. Don't let people know you're from the past. Rewards are large for turning one of you in. Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm -hmm. A man from the past walks through my door and goes to show you that no one needs nothing around here. But let's first talk about that suit you're wearing. I can take it off your hands for a fair trade and get you something uh, a little less, well, noticeable. Each of the suits possesses unique yes, characteristics. It's up to you to decide what works best for you. Why would I not? Very nice. A man with taste, I see. An excellent selection. Remember, I buy and sell. Care to browse my selection? Care to trade? Stole it right off his desk. Doing business with you. People still be playing dice in the alley. Mutants, 10, 20 of them, all over that valley. Ripping and a tearing, ripping and a tearing. That's much better. Now you look like any other good, hard working citizen. But we got another problem. You see, you can't just leave your vehicles parked outside my town. We're civilized here, we have rules. And since it looks like you're going to be here a while, you're going to need a place to park your stuff. Go see Mick across the way in the garage. He can help you. Got that? After you talk to Mick, go see Sheriff Black. He should have Dan's supplies all set by then. Well, well, well. How'd it do to you? And what can Mick do for you? How would it do to you? Oh, a garage? Well, you've come to the right place. So here's the deal, fairest in the wasteland. You let me do all the repairs on your vehicles, and guess what? That covers the rent for the space. What a deal. And I see you got one of them shortwave radios. Mighty handy here, mighty handy indeed. 
So if you get into a jam and need a tow, why, just get on the radio and give me a blast. <laughs> How's that for service? Why is your wrench all wrapped up? And that door there will get you into your garage. Or just drive up to the main gate outside and I'll let you in. Couldn't be any easier. And Got it. lastly... Welcome to town. We don't care much for outsiders. Let me guess, you're the stranger that Clayton says is taking some stuff to Dan's place. And I'm afraid it isn't gonna happen quite so easily as that. No way I'm sending all these supplies with you in an unarmed buggy. Might as well dump the damn stuff on the road. What you gotta do here is see Rusty by the track entrance. He can get you all set up with some guns. You gotta get some firepower. Come back and I'm gonna finish this mission, get some guns from the buggy, and then I'll be it for the stream today. I'm gonna pick up later tonight or tomorrow, <laughs> but Endgame comes out tomorrow, and I'm seeing it tomorrow night. We've always got space for new races. You new in town? Oh, I got everything you need to keep your vehicle working, right? Now listen, yeah, I only take racing certificates for any upgrades or parts, and you gotta win those on the racetrack, nothing else. Oh, I gotta do races. If you wanna deal with me, you best see Jackie Weeks That's first. Right. He's always on the lookout for new races. All right. Hey, my friend. I must say, you Oi. do look like a racer if ever I saw one. Why How do you try get on the track and an earn accent? Some racing certificates. Trust me, they can be mighty useful. Greetings. Name's Jackie Weeks, and I'm the impresario who runs all the high-speed races in Wellspring. And I do get mean done. all. If you're interested in testing I your skill, it. you can go talk to my business associate over there. I Slim. Get it. He can get you all set up to race. And oh do come God. back if you feel the need for some speed. Slim. Slim. Not you. Rusty. Benjamin, uh, okay. Greetings, stranger. <laughs> oh, hey. You look like a racer to me. Hey, you ready to try and win some racing certificates? Sure. Welcome, friend. Name's Carl, but seems like everyone calls me Slim. <laughs> Funny, huh? All right, the deal is, if you want to race, you talk to me. I just take a look at all the events we have here. Find something you like, and assuming you meet the requirements, then you're in. All the prizes aren't racing certificates, you know. Good to get new vehicle upgrades at Rusty's. <laughs> but everyone needs those. Interested in winning some racing certificates? I don't know which one's faster. Good luck. Welcome, race fans, to another exciting.
Ethereum. I've got the best vehicle parts anywhere. Okay, okay, okay. Browse my selections. Rocket launcher. I get a discount. Nice doing business with you. All right. And this is where I will finish. Anyone who's watching, I appreciate it. And see you next time.